Welcome everybody. In this video, I'm going to cover how to move Lightroom work from your laptop to your desktop computer. I'm assuming that your main Lightroom catalog is on your desktop computer, but you travel with your laptop, you photograph while you're traveling, and you use Lightroom to import your photos and do some level of work on your photos while you're traveling. But when you get back home, you want to transfer everything into your main Lightroom catalog on your desktop computer. Of course, this video would apply to transferring work and photos from one computer to another, regardless of whether it's a travel laptop. Now, if you regularly work on two computers and you want to be able to see all of your photos and your Lightroom work, regardless of what computer you're on, this is not the right approach for you. In that case, I would recommend that you have your Lightroom catalog and your photos on an external hard drive that you can plug in to either computer. So watch my video in this series on organizing and backing up your photo library to learn more about this approach, and then my video on moving your photo library for steps to actually do that. What I'm going to show you in this video assumes that your laptop is just a secondary computer that you want to be able to import and work with photos on as you're shooting while you're gone. So I'm here on my laptop computer. I've imported a couple folders of photos here, and I've done some work on these photos. So now that I'm back home, I want to get these photos and this work into my main Lightroom catalog on my desktop computer. The idea here is that you would export from your laptop a small bundle containing your photos and containing a small Lightroom catalog. You would move that bundle over to your desktop computer and then import that into your main catalog there. Now, if here on your laptop you have a single folder that you want to export, you can right-click on the folder and choose Export this folder as a catalog. If there are a few folders you want to export, you can click on the first and then Control or Command click on each additional one to select them here. And then you want to select all of the photos that show in the grid. You do a Control or Command A for all, and then you could go up to File, Export as Catalog. And then finally, if it's everything in the catalog, click on All Photographs, select all here with Control or Command A, File, Export as Catalog. Now Lightroom is asking me, where do you want to put this temporary catalog that you're going to transfer over? I'm going to go ahead and put this on my desktop, and I'm going to call this Temporary Vacation Catalog, because I'm going to delete this in the end. I want it to be clear. I'll even put to delete later. I am going to export the negative files, so this is going to make a copy of the photographs on my laptop and include those in the bundle. If I've built Smart Previews, or I want Smart Previews built for use on my desktop computer, I could check this, but I can always do that later, so I'm not going to bother. And then I can also choose to have Lightroom copy over any of the JPEG previews that Lightroom uses. Lightroom will regenerate these, so for me it's not worth taking the time to copy those over. But I am going to export the negative files. So temp vacation catalog to delete later. I'm putting it on the desktop, but you would want to put this on an external hard drive or on a jump drive so that you could transfer it over to your main computer. I'm going to click on Save. And Lightroom will go ahead and copy the photos and create that catalog. And up here, I still see a status bar working, so it's copying those photos. OK, so now it's done. I'm going to move over to my desktop computer. But let me just say before I do that once you get everything successfully copied over to your desktop computer, you're going to come back to your laptop and delete what's here. To delete the folders of photos, you have to go out to Windows Explorer or the Mac Finder. So you would right-click on a folder, and you would say Show in Explorer or Finder, and out there you would delete these folders. When you do that, back here in Lightroom, they're going to get question marks on them. At that point, you can just right-click and remove, and remove them from your laptop catalog. OK, I'm going to pause the video, move over to my other main Lightroom catalog on my desktop computer. I'm on my desktop computer. I've got my external hard drive plugged in with that temporary vacation catalog. Of course, in my case, it's just sitting on my desktop instead. 
I'm going to import that into this main catalog. So I'm going to go to File, Import from another catalog. So it's not a straight import. It's not an import of photos. We need all of your Lightroom work to come along with those photos. So we're importing from another catalog. I'm going to go out to my desktop here. And here's my temporary vacation catalog. It's a folder. I'm going to open it up. And inside this folder, notice that I've got the photos and then I've got the actual catalog file with the Lightroom icon. So I want to select this LRCAT file, select this catalog file, and then say Open, which brings up another dialog. It's indicating what photos and what folders it's going to import. If I wanted to see which photos these contained, I could click on this Show Preview button but I know that I want to bring in these folders of photos. And then it checks to see if these photos are already in my main Lightroom catalog. They're not because I just took these photos when I was traveling. So it's identified them all as new photos. Now I'm going to choose to add these new photos to the catalog without moving. I'm just going to move them from within Lightroom. I'm not going to copy them to a new location here. To me, that gets more complicated. So new photos, add new photos to the catalog without moving. Now, if it did find photos that were not only on your laptop, but are also on your desktop and in your main Lightroom catalog, it would ask you here what you wanted to do. And it really gets down to which version is the most recent. If the laptop version is the most recent, you would choose to replace the metadata with the versions coming from your laptop. If your desktop computer was the most recent, you would choose to replace nothing. I'm going to go ahead and click on Import. And once it comes in here, we will see very shortly that I will have my Nature folder here, my Victoria folder. I've got my Lightroom work here on these photos. So there's just one more step. Right now, Lightroom is looking out to that temporary vacation catalog folder on my desktop for these photos. If I right click on these folders and I just say show parent folder to see where these folders are, and I'm going to do that on this vacation catalog as well, show parent folder, you can see that in fact these are in the temporary vacation folder on my desktop. So I'm going to open up my Photos Go Here folder in Pictures, and I'm going to take these folders and I'm just going to drag them down into whatever year they belong. Take Victoria, put that down in 2012. Now if I scroll up, this temporary vacation catalog folder doesn't have any more photos in it. I'm not seeing any photos in Lightroom from the desktop, so I'm going to right click on Desktop here and choose Remove. Everything's in Lightroom exactly where I need it. And now I would go out to my desktop and delete that temporary vacation catalog folder. Or you would, in fact, delete that from your external hard drive. If you've enjoyed this lesson, please show your support by subscribing to my YouTube channel. And for 15 and a half more hours of Lightroom training, check out my Fundamentals and Beyond video series at laurashu.com.